everybody, it's me, Courtney, from Little Lamb Homestead. Um, I would like to start off by apologizing. Um, there was no video last week on Wednesday or Sunday. It was just really a really long week, um, and I felt like it was just super busy, and I wasn't really in the right mind frame to do a ton of video videoing. Um, right now I'm trying to beat a rainstorm, so I'm gonna jump right into the video. I'm gonna be digging up the potatoes that were in the ground. Um, this is where they were right here, and as you can see, um, they're dead, and it's pretty overgrown. So I'm gonna see what we got. So here's what I got out of the ground. Um, there's obviously the Red New Orleans and the Purple Majesties. I am covered in dirt and super sweaty, but there is one more thing that I wanted to do today before I call it a day. Um, my peas are pretty much done and I definitely want to pull out I want to pull out this area right here so um, you can see that there's you know a couple peas left on here but for the most part it's pretty sad um, my beans are doing really well on this other trellis so I'm gonna leave this area but I am going to pull this out too so let's get that done So, I was able to get, ow, ow. So, I was able to get a couple more peas, and I just lost one. Um, like my bright yellow Crocs. These are my staple piece. I should be the Croc gardener. So, I was able to get a little handful of peas off. Um, before I ripped them out. My plan is that since it's late July, I can get another round of peas in before um, winter. So, uh, sorry, Whew. I had to get my hori hori. Um, so the plan is to actually um, take off all of these weeds and I'm gonna newspaper the bottom like I did my peppers and tomatoes and I'll replant my peas. And like I said, I did leave the bean plant um, because it is still growing. Um, 
So I did leave that. Um, it'll probably get pulled out in a week or so. But um, since I wasn't able to do a full garden tour, let me show you a couple of things that are really exciting before this rain comes. So my New Yorker tomatoes are huge. Um, definitely no signs of blushing yet, but they are giant and I'm so excited. Um, this plant is doing really well too. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and then my Roman tomatoes have really stepped up their game and are doing amazing. Like, check that little Roma tomato out. And I've got a ton of new little guys up here. Um, and all of these other plants are pretty much the same. My Chadwicks actually <laughs> need to be um, strung up again. Um, I did this the other day, but they, they're growing like crazy. As you can see, they're getting pretty close right now. Um, so that's super exciting. This plant is just a little bit more far along. So that's super exciting. And then of course my marigolds have done incredibly well. Like, isn't that gorgeous? Um, and then down here are my homestead tomatoes. Um, these ones are not as quite, like, they're not that far along. I don't know if maybe this plant in particular is just a little sick or if it just needs water. Um, but this is the only plant that has curled leaves like that. These two are also homestead tomatoes. And they don't have the leaf curling so um if the rain doesn't hit them enough tonight we are gonna water them but i'm super happy that i have little green tomatoes um and then my peppers are awesome um these ones are all starting to blossom but the real star of the show and it always really has been are these two banana peppers um, these two plants right here have been amazing since I planted them um, and they are continuing to do really well and then I have a really nice zucchini plant right over here so um, this zucchini is starting to get really big too um, and then our cucumbers have been struggling. <laughs> um, they're blossoming really well. Um, like you can see there's a lot of blossoms, but no cucumbers yet. So the lack of cucumbers could be for two reasons. Um, it could be either there's a ton of male blossoms on there and there's very, very few female blossoms. Or we just might not have a ton of pollinators, which I'm thinking is probably the case. Um, I'm hoping that now that there's a garden here next year, the pollinators will come back and um, hopefully next year we'll have better cucumbers. But for now, that's what we had. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind a shorter video I think the rain is about to start soon and I'm pretty gross right now <laughs> so I'm going to head in and get cleaned up for the night but thank you guys so much for watching I promise that I will try to be better about posting regularly again um, I just really needed a week off but yes thank you guys for tuning in if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up or leaving me a comment below telling me what you liked or what you would like to see in the future. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.